Now to devastating news for the family of retired Detroit police officer Stefan Hodo. Sources tell 7 Action News a body recovered at a Detroit park has been identified as the retired officer. Hodo went missing about three weeks ago. Last week, that body was found in Stople Park near Evergreen and Outer Drive on the city's west side. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner has the latest developments and plenty of questions in this heartbreaking case. The suspect police say did the shooting and now the murder remains locked up. He's not charged with either of those crimes. He's being held on a bond violation and the family of the murdered former DPD officer says this guy shouldn't have been on the street in the first place. He was on bond, uh, a personal bond for for a, a case involving a firearm and there was prior firearms in his history. So the decision to, to release him on bond is, is one that a, that a judge made. The family of retired Detroit police officer Stefan Hodo now telling us his murder did not have to happen. Sources say he was stabbed four times, his body found last week. That was two weeks after this suspect fired into a house on the west side, twice in the same day. Five adults, three kids were inside. One adult had minor injuries. That suspect, police say, was a neighbor of Hodo, stole Hodo's car and two guns, registered to him. He would be on the run for hours until the night of June 30th, when Detroit police, the Wayne County Sheriff, and state police closed in on him. He's been in custody since, but Hodo was missing. And I just, um, oh my goodness. The family teamed up with Crime Stoppers in hopes of bringing Stefan Hodo home. Police now say the suspect who did the crime spree on June the 30th also did Stefan's murder. I can tell you that there is a lot of evidence that implicates uh, this individual being responsible for the death of Mr. Hodo. The family of Stefan Hodo declining to talk on camera today. They're planning his funeral. In downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.